We've got our tools ready here. Here's the DVD player, a Phillips screwdriver, a 10 millimeter socket wrench, or you could use a 10 millimeter crescent wrench that works just fine as well. Our first step is to take the plastic paneling off. Just give it a tug. Grab your screwdriver. Do the same thing on the other side. When you pull it out, you might see this in one piece or two pieces. Right here it's in two pieces because the other one's left behind right here. Go and pull that one out and keep them together. Now sometimes back here, towards the back there, right through there you'll have, uh, you might have another screw or another cover. Uh, I don't know if this vehicle used to have one and lost it or, or maybe it just never had one, I'm not sure. but. Check your vehicle, see if you have another screw, if it's uh, not coming off. See if there's one back in there that you need to take out. Now we take the front plastic cover off. You need to open the cup holder and find the screws right behind it. There's one on each side. It's ready to pull off. It's not going to come completely free. It's still attached right here. So just kind of move it over to the side. Go ahead and push the cup holder back in. Make it easy on yourself. You're ready for the socket wrench now. And there are full four gold screws that you've got to get with this. Two on each side. one. Can you see that one down there? There's number two. Now to the other side. Alright, with the fourth one, the DVD player will be ready to fall out. So be ready to catch it. Down it comes. Just kind of set it on the carpet like that. You gotta pinch these connections, free them up. You're ready to switch DVD players. So, do everything in reverse now.
connections go in. Push the player back up into place. Just get things to line up and put your first screw on. There it goes. Even with just one screw, it holds holds itself in pretty well. I like to do a test right now to make sure that the, the DVD player is actually working. Just go ahead and put your key in. Turn your power on, hit the DVD button. It's telling me no disc. Pop one in. Can you see that? The green light's going on. That's a good sign. Turn some volume up. Pop my screen down. And take a look up to see what we got. Can you see that? There it is. It's working. Go ahead and turn the key off. And finish putting all four of the screws back in. Next one's on the bottom. And switch sides. And with the socket wrench, we'll tighten them all up. Ready to put that front cover back on. We'll pull the cup holder back out to do it. Gotta make room for the part that goes under there. Swing it on around. I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh You get it lined up right here. Okay, that's in. Now the side panels. First is the screw. Find a spot for it right down here. Next, find these two things. This one goes on the outside, so we'll save it for later. This one goes on the inside. So this one goes right into the hole there. And then you're ready for your cover. Now for the cover, this hole has to go over a screw that's back up in there. I don't know if you can see it, but just get close when you do it. You'll see a screw coming out, and that screw needs to go right into that hole there.
once it's over the screw, it's ready to pop into place and put the cover on. That one's ready. Other side. The screw goes in first. Now when this panel came out, that outer one and the inner one stayed together. So we'll pull it apart. So now I've got my inside guy and my outside guy. Save that one for later. Put this one in first. Just like the other side, this one has the screw that you need to find. The screw that goes up in that hole. Once you find that spot, then the whole thing will pop in. That's a wrap.